It's funny how life can change when you least expect it. Dave Johns is a stand-up comedian, but 30 years on the circuit had taken its toll, and he was all set to quit for a quiet life and a herd of donkeys. It's hard being on the road every day, and it's much better when you're younger, you know, because you don't mind the travel. And because when I was a kid, I used to come down here and there was like donkeys on the beach all the time, and I thought, well, this might be a good idea to run a load of donkeys, you know, in the summer. But it wasn't to be. No, it wasn't to be. My donkey dream was destroyed by uh, Ken Loach, the director. <laughs> now you can go back to your desk and let us sign on and do the job that the taxpayer pays you for. And so Dave Johns was cast as Daniel Blake, and the rest is history. And you'll create more of a scene again. I had no expectations of getting the role, and I remember I was in Whitley Bay here, I was walking along the seafront when I got the phone call to say I'd got the part. It was just surreal, you know? I, Daniel Blake, went on to become Ken Loach's most successful film, winning dozens of awards, including Outstanding British Film at the BAFTAs and The Palm Door at Cannes. It not only put Newcastle on the movie map, it brought Dave Johns to the attention of the film industry. When you lose your self-respect, you're done for. So here's the wall <laughs> that you made famous in that iconic <laughs> scene in I, Daniel Blake. When you got your spray can out. <laughs> yeah, I know, I remember, because Ken usually keeps the camera really far away, and so when I was doing it, you could see people <laughs> pass by so think it was really happening, and especially when the cop car, and there's one here now, yeah. Didn't that police car come to get you? Maybe you think, think I'm back. <laughs> I think I'm back He's again. back. Yeah. So how do you feel about the film now, three years after you made it? I'm so proud that it's touched people's lives and that people come up to me every day, every single day, and say how, how much they love the film and, 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 uh, and what it's meant to them. So, so that's pretty cool, and if I'd never made another film, I mean, what a, what a film to have made for your first film. But since then, his acting career has really taken off, and last year, he starred in Wrestling's answer to the full Monty, Walk Like a Panther. Trying to turn the clock back nearly 30 bleeding years. And this spring sees the release of his latest film, Fisherman's Friends. So what's next for Dave John's actor? Well, I'm, uh, I'm actually uh, making a new film at the moment, which uh, I can't say much about, which is a surprise to everybody, and especially my uh, partner, that I'm, I'm playing a romantic lead. <laughs> it's 62. It's with quite an um, iconic actress, which I'm not allowed to mention at the moment. <laughs> Dare I ask, are there any sex scenes? Yes, everybody likes to see two pensioners getting it on. <laughs> <laughs> Those donkeys must seem like a distant memory now. Sharon Asaga, BBC Look North, Whitley Bay.